The Blues face the daunting task of ending a streak of seven straight series defeats when losing Game 1 to Queensland. Furthermore, the Maroons have gone on to lift the shield on 16 of 18 occasions when claiming the series opener against NSW. Hopefully, we can write our own bit of history in winning this game over here in Perth, the first origin to be brought over here, Cordner said on Friday. We've prepared the best way we can to give ourselves every possible chance. Cordner admitted the criticism had been fierce for the Blues since coach Brad Fittler made seven changes to the team for Game 2. However, with just Saturday's captain's run left to complete their build-up, Cordner said he'd seen enough in their preparation to be confident of victory. Obviously, Origin's so big, so everyone has an opinion. But, winning solves everything, too, he said. Looking at the team and the way we've trained, I've got all the confidence in the world that Freddie's made the right choice. Among Fiddler's changes are a near-new look bench with Wade Graham, Tarek Sims and debutante Dale Finnecane called in for Origin 2. Speaking at an official Origin launch on Friday, Fiddler suggested making changes to his starting lineup before kickoff. Seeing Dale come from a really good system down in Melbourne, he's got a great character, Hitler said. And who are the other boys on the bench? I'm just trying to work out who's starting. I'm not sure what the numbers are at the moment. Wade will be on the bench. Tarek, we'll see, we'll see. The Blues wrap up their preparation late on Saturday afternoon with a run on Optus Stadium for the first time, with heavy rain predicted for the weekend. Pictures, the greatest moments in NRL history. From 1908 until 1994, Australia's first rugby league competition was ran by New South Wales Rugby League, NSWRL. However, the league along with other minor premiers were reunified to form National Rugby League in 1998. A look at some of the most memorable moments over the years. In first NRL final that ended in a draw, North Queensland claimed victory over Brisbane 17-16 in Golden Point Extra Time. It was their first premiership title. The winning goal was scored by Jonathan Thurston, R., who was awarded the Clive Churchill Medal. Since 1971, Rabbitohs won their first ever title with the help of Sam Burgess' pictured incredible performance that earned him the Clive Churchill Medal. The final score was 30-6. With 18-8 lead, Manley had everything under control until the last 25 minutes when Roosters made a stunning comeback to win the final for the first time since 2002. Roosters secured 26-18. Victory when Michael Jennings, pictured, broke through to ground James Maloney's grubber in the last few minutes of the game. In one of the most controversial moments in NRL history, Bulldogs James Graham R. bit the ear of Storm's Billy Slater L., for which the former received a 12-match ban. Storm won the final, 14-4. Team Manly thrashed their opponents by the biggest ever margin, 40-0, in the game's history. The highlight of the game was Michael Robertson's L. hat trick tries that made him the first player to score three tries since Steve Renouf in 1997. The final also saw Stephen Menzies equal Terry Lamb's record of 349 first-grade games. It was the first-ever grand final appearance for both the teams, where West Tigers won 30-16. Tigers' Brett Hodgson displayed an incredible performance by scoring five goals. In the first half of the game, Bulldogs were trailing 13-6 but in the second half they quickly covered the lead with the help of Matt Utai and Hazem El Masri. During the last few minutes of the game, Bulldogs were leading 16-13, when Roosters Michael Crocker, pictured, made a break on the 40 meters line but was tackled by Bulldogs captain Andrew Ryan. The Bulldogs win the final 16-13. In the last game with Penrith, Scott Sattler made one of the greatest tackle in NRL history. It was a turning point of the game when Sattler chased down and made a tackle on the Roosters. Winger Todd Byrne, in white, sending him out of the field. Panthers won the game 18-6. Parramatta Eels were trailing 24-0 at high time and did everything to fight back but fell short.
Knights won the final 30-24. The highlight of the match was Timana Tahu's pictured second half try, where he got tangled up with Luke Burt before putting the ball down inside the chalk. At halftime Dragons were leading 14-0 and everyone thought the game was going to end in their favor. However, Storm made a stunning comeback when Anthony Mundine knocked on over the try line that proved to be a turning point in the game. Storm quickly covered up the lead 18-14. In the 77th minute, Brad Kim Orley bombed winger Craig Smith but before he could ground it, Dragons' Jamie Ainscoff knocked him unconscious. The video referee gave a penalty try to Storm, which was successfully converted. Storm won the game 20-18. Newcastle Knights' Andrew Johns helped his team reach their first final against defending champions Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Before the final game, there were concerns about Johns' health, as he had suffered a punctured lung. However, he went ahead and played the final. Both the teams were tied at 16 all and in the final moment of the game Johns ran down a narrow blind side and slipped a pass to winger Darren Albert who successfully scored, giving the Knights a 22-16 win over Manly. In one of the greatest final, Canberra Raiders defeated Balmain Tigers 19-14. The final witnessed Canberra Steve Jackson come off the bench to score his memorable try that earned his team. Their first premiership, the 1975 final is best remembered for Graham Langlands wearing white boots rather than the standard black. But the main highlight was his groin injury for which he was given a pain healing injection just before the game. Instead of reducing the pain it numbed his leg completely. Talking about the incident, he wrote in his book, Larrikin and Saint, it was an injection. That went wrong. It wasn't the doctor's fault. The injection went in where the nerves shouldn't have been. They had moved because of all the injuries that I've had around the groin. Eastern Suburbs won 38-0. In the 1970 final between South Sydney Rabbitohs and Manly Warringah Sea Eagles, South's captain John Sattler turned out to be a star player. In the opening moments of the game, Sattler suffered a double fracture of his jaw after being punched by Manly's John Bucknall. However, he decided to continue playing and said to his teammate Mike Cleary, hold me up so they don't know I'm hurt. South Sydney won the final 23-12.